Hello from Truro Cathedral. My name is Canon Linda. I'm the Canon Pastor here. And like all churches and cathedrals, we're closed just now. But we're continuing to pray for our communities across Cornwall and for our nation during this time of the coronavirus pandemic. I hope that you can just be still for a moment, perhaps, and just ponder the things that are going on in our nation, in our county, and across the world. And that you might like to pray with me and perhaps light a candle as we ponder a thought and pray for those on our hearts and minds. Prayer is one thing we can still continue to do together. We can be united in prayer as we seek a way forward during this very difficult time. Prayer can strengthen us in our inner, to find our inner reserves and to go forward in a bit more hope and expectation than perhaps we had before. The Christian message is, of course, one of hope. Hope in a dark world that there is something better. Back in the 14th century, at the time of the Great Plague, the Great um, Death Plague that happened then, it gripped Britain, and uh, one young girl, a girl who became known as St. Julian of Norwich, decided to live a solitary life as an anchoress. Her visions have been recorded, and in one, she pictures God holding the world in the form of a hazelnut in the palm of his hands. And as she pondered that, she heard God say, all things have their being by the love of God, she said. And she pondered all that was going on in her world. And she went on to say that God made it, God loves it, and God keeps it. All shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. And that's the Christian message. And as you ponder the candle that perhaps you've lit, we here in St. Samson's Chapel in Truro Cathedral, a part of the cathedral you may not know, but you can find in the future, we have behind us St. Samson and some other saints. And there too, we've got the light of our candle shining in the darkness along perhaps with yours. In recent days, another young girl has helped us to actually ponder some of the things going on in our world in terms of climate change. Climate change on our doorsteps and across the world. And now as we encounter the awful reality of this pandemic, St. Julian's words in her similar situation amidst all the pain and the anguish give us hope. Hope in God's loving purposes that all shall be well, all manner of things shall be well. Canon Simon, here at the cathedral, has written some prayers which some of you might have picked up in recent days, and he's going to read one for us now. A prayer for the world. God of love and hope, you made the world and care for all creation. But the world feels strange right now. The news is full of stories about coronavirus. Some people are worried that they might get ill. Others are anxious for their family and friends. Be with them and help them to find peace. We pray for the doctors and nurses and scientists and all who are working to discover the right medicines to help those who are ill. We thank you that even in these anxious times you are with us. Help us to put our trust in you and keep us safe. Amen. Goodbye from both of us, and we are praying for you and hope that you can light a candle in the darkness. Stay safe and well, and keep in touch with us via the website. Bye for now.